I originally got interested in medicine um, when I was a kid. I grew up on a farm and of course we were treating animals all the time for various ailments. And I thought I, I didn't want to treat animals because uh, they couldn't talk to me. So I decided to go into medicine. And I was very happy with that decision. Um, but before I did that, I solidified the decision by doing uh, a couple years, three, four years as an orderly at one of the local hospitals. And uh, that got my interest even peaked even more and really solidified that I was interested in going into surgery in particular. Growing up in Michigan, it was natural to go to one of the Big Ten schools, uh, either Michigan or Michigan State. Uh, I always thought green color was more fitting for me, so I ended up going to Michigan State for my undergrad. After graduating there, I moved on to the state of Pennsylvania, where I was accepted to Philadelphia College Osteopathic and did my medical training there. Uh, from then, I came back to Michigan State to do my general surgery and then moved into the Detroit area at uh, Harper Hospital in Wayne State to do my vascular fellowship. Being a vascular surgeon, a lot of people don't understand what we do treat and care for on a daily basis. Uh, we pretty much treat anything in the arteries and veins outside of the heart. So we do a lot of uh, disease in the carotids, which are the neck vessels that can cause strokes. So we do a lot of surgery for there to prevent strokes. We'll do aneurysms in the chest or belly. That aneurysms are dilations of the main vessel coming out of the heart called the aorta. And if it gets big, it can rupture. So we take care of that. We also take care of a lot of vessels in the legs that are arterial supply to our muscles and tissues. As they get blocked, they start to cause problems with walking as well as problems with uh, wounds. And we open those vessels up with balloons or stents. We also do a fair amount of work with veins. Uh, venous system is sometimes overlooked, but we treat varicose veins and uh, the other ailments that go along with that, the swelling, the ulcers, and the um, problems that they occur from venous insufficiency. Uh, we also do a lot of access work for the hemodialysis as well as peritoneal uh, dialysis for those patients that have kidney failure. Mm -hmm.